Hi, I'm Richard. I'm the producer at Stormcloud Games, and today we're at PSX talking about Brutal. So, Richard, what is Brutal? Yeah, so Brutal is an ASCII themed roguelike. It's sort of, we looked at some of the older games that we grew up playing that we loved and we really enjoyed, and we tried to take that and bring it forward to sort of like a modern generation using the power of the PlayStation 4. So, typical roguelike, once you die, that's it. You've got 26 dungeon floors to try and get through. You spawn on one with absolutely nothing. You destroy things around you, kill enemies, gain XP, level up find weapons, craft them, stuff you're used to, and it's, it's a lot of fun, very hard, but a lot of fun. So the game has a very unique design. If I were to describe it, it would be very Tron-like, I guess. Yeah, I think that's very fair, actually. You know, we when we first came up with the game, we kind of looked at those old ASCII roguelike games, kind of that top-down view, using all the letters, and wondered how can we make that into something. So all, all of our inspiration is from those older style games, but also looking at new titles like Super Meat Boy and other great roguelikes of the last few years for gameplay inspiration. Uh, what engine did you build the game in? I built in Unity. How, how are those tools compared to like Unreal and other engines out there? Honestly, it's been fantastic. It's really fast to prototype and get things up and running. You know, if we have a question about, you know, can we try this new mechanic, this new feature, we can build it really fast. So for us, it's been really great. We're a really small team. What have advances in technology added to you as a game developer to make your game a reality? Yeah, I mean, I think the main thing is that we can actually, we're a small team, so something like Unity and even the PS4 SDK means that a team of 10 can actually make this game in eight months. We're still at Alpha, there's a long way to go, but these uh, great tools out there have allowed us as a small team to realize our ambition and make a game. And how has Sony worked with you in developing your game? It's been fantastic. We work with the European Sony team, and honestly, they've been great all the way. They've given us advice on the game, things they like and don't like. It's been a great, great experience. They're, they're very hands-off and very positive, and they give us a lot of respect with the game itself. So talk a little about, you guys have four different classes. Go into a little detail about those. Yeah, of course. So with the all the classes, we've got the Ranger, the Amazon, the Warrior, and the Mage. The Mage is kind of a low health, but he's got magic. He's got kind of a long-range staff. The Warrior is a little bit slow, but he's got more health and more damage. And the Ranger and Amazon are kind of in the middle. With all the characters, you start off with certain skills, but as you gain XP, you can level up what you want. So if you wanted to, as the mage, you could level up some warrior skills and become sort of a battle mage. Or the opposite way, you could be a mage, or you could be a warrior, sorry, and level up some magic ability. So you kind of have a bit of free reign of what you can do. Uh, because the game is all randomly generated, you know, you might find an axe on level one and try to specialize in axes. So it's kind of up to you what you do with your skills. What inspired you to make the game look the way it looked? Yeah, honestly, you know, our, our owner Frank, the designer of the game, he wanted to basically make a game that he used to play. I think we're at a great point now where a lot of developers, we, we grew up playing games, we made games, and now we're in charge of making those games. So it's kind of like we had free reign to do what we wanted, and it was just that we loved roguelikes, we loved older games, and we thought, why not try and reimagine that for modern gameplay? As a game developer, what's it like seeing companies like Sony and Steam with early access open up for developers such as yourself? It's been great, you know, I think you could have looked back five, ten years ago and a small team like us might have struggled to get a game out there on the platform, but you know, Sony have been fantastic, they've came to us, they've supported us all the way, and we're a really small team, so it's been fantastic. I mean, we're here at PSX as a, a ten-man studio from Dundee, Scotland, so it's been, it's been amazing. And when did your game come out? It's early 2016. And what platforms? PS4 and PC? Yeah. PS4 and later in the line PC.